Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Good morning, my name is JP Fashi. I'm the Vice President of Fashi Construction. This renovation project is based off of the Passive House principles. Uh, when completed, it'll be a near Passive House home. Passive House is uh, the world's highest standard in regards to energy efficiency, which is all based off of building science. So what you're adding to the home are components like insulation and air sealing that are passive. They don't do any work, they don't cost you anything than the initial cost. Whereas a heating system, an oil file burner, is an active system meaning an active house, you actively have to heat and cool the home. A lot of the conventional theory about homes is that a home needs to breathe. A home needs to breathe, but it needs to be a controlled breathing. And by air sealing the home, you do that. You control it with a ventilation system. In a conventional home where you have a breathable home through its exterior walls at random spots near windows, near doors, near siding, where air is just passing in and out, you're basically taking the heating and cooling you paid for and, and just throwing it out the door. There's no limitation on what you can use to heat your home. So you could use oil, natural gas, electricity, propane, but you just reduce that amount. This particular home, the whole house is actually heated and cooled using an electrical uh, distribution system. In the future, this home will be solar powered and uh, the costs for mechanical systems will be dramatically reduced. In a typical home, you have your siding, you have your sheathing, and then you have your two by four wall. Heat and cold enter into those materials and they pass directly into your home. By insulating the entire exterior wall, the heat and cold can not pass through this. We've ap applied this membrane by using the fewest amount of staples as possible because those become leak points for any moisture that may get onto the exterior wall. Any connections to windows we've taped, any connections to the foundation we've taped. So this exterior wall is completely sealed. If any water gets behind the insulation, it can't pass through this membrane and can't get into your wall but it can dry out through the insulation because the insulation is completely vapor open. There's no limitations in terms of your exterior finish application, whether it's wood siding, cement fiberboard, stucco, brick, stone. There's no limitations to what you can choose. This is a vapor and air barrier for the interior of the home. And just like outside, it's completely airtight. We've filled the cavity with a R15 rock wool batten. It's the same product that's on the outside of the house. It's completely uh, water resistant, mold resistant, and non-combustible. In a typical home, an electrician sets an electrical box. Then you have sheetrock that is cut around that box and then a faceplate is put over the uh, receptacle to finish it. Any air can pass through there unobstructed, uncontrolled. So what we have here is our service cavity, which is the next layer of our exterior wall assembly. By adding these furring strips, we create a channel for any electrical lines. When it's sheetrocked, you're sheetrocking over the furring strip, not making any penetrations into your air, air sealing. Only the exterior walls of a home have the service cavity. Then it's connected to the interior walls as a regular framing, uh, two by four framing. This also adds another area where you can add an additional layer of insulation which gives us another R6. What we're looking at is an extraction point for the mechanical ventilation system. There are extraction, exhaust points, and there are supply points. You extract from your kitchens, your bathrooms, your laundry rooms, where you're gonna have a lot of extra heat, 
odors, all our supply air, fresh air, is given to the living spaces. So bedrooms, living rooms. Now that ventilator recovers the energy that's in that air and it can heat the fresh air that's coming into the home. So you also have supplemental heat from the ventilation system itself. We're in the uh, attic of the home and what we're looking at is the energy recovery ventilator that brings in fresh air from the outside and extracts the stale air out of the house. There's 10 points of supply and there's 10 points of exhaust, so it's a completely balanced system. Any air that is distributed to the house, the same amount of exhaust is being balanced and taken out of the house. Thanks for taking the tour today with us of this 1930s retrofit near Passive House construction project. Passive House can be implemented into any areas of construction, whether it's new construction, retrofitting an older home, or a commercial application. If you'd like to know more about Passive House or high performance building, you can contact us through our website at fasciconstruction.com.